go back and view those instructions. Okay, do some automated checks, but they don't allow you to access. Access this event. Here's how it comes to my home directory. Oh, so I can use those from home admin. Df cat go. That's interesting. He's got a couple binaries. John and no login test it time C cat might be useful okay we can at least check out the cron result man did not start with home admin or user bin command. Oh, not start with user bin. Okay, so let's exit. Oh, not, not exit. Let's go shell, remove, run this. Cron is what we'll start from. So I need to start from the user bin. Uh, operation not permitted. That's a or whatever. Okay, so we need to click in the user bin and see what what's available. There's a lot of stuff available. Holy crap. Okay. So let's just check some stuff real quick. So if we can use whatever we want in user bin, if I'm reading that correctly, double check. User bin has who am I? Okay, so Jerry, Jerry said, Jerry said I can use anything in user bin, and also some stuff in admin. So let's let's look at user bin. Let's uh, let's try one of them memes. So user, oop, sorry, the temp after shell say. Echo user bin who am I? And to run this, and we'll wait a gosh darn doodly minute, and hopefully it will work. That's interesting. Did I copy that funny? I probably, I probably wrote that funny. Okay, how did I do that? <laughs> did that as a directory? Of course, that didn't work. All right, so let's run this. Let's say echo. User bin, who am I? Who am I anymore? Run this. Good job, Casey. You're doing great. You got this. I wish I could kind of clear this out. It's going to have a lot of shit in it. Just want to check permissions. Spam. All right, be patient. How about now? How about now?
Okay, we ran. Still seeming to have issues. Command did not start with home admin or user bin. But it did, right? Where is our, our note from Jerry here? That we so graciously had. You know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna shove back in and remove and this. And we're gonna exit and we're gonna go back into the home folder. Back into easy. Easy. And we're going to echo his notes. We're going to cat notes. Alright. Each line, one command. Output goes. It should run every minute. Privileges. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like an idiot if this works. All right, that's cool. That's just the that's the moral of the story. Just feel like an idiot. All right, so if we say um, slash user slash bin slash who am I, and don't put a backslash after it or forward slash, and uh, run this and pray that that worked, maybe we won't hate our life so much. Okay, um, result. We're gonna give it a second. So that was a directory over here. If this is actually something that would execute what was over there, I gave it a shot. Quite ready yet? How about now? Nope. How about now? Admin. All right, cool. So admin is it's so we're executing everything as admin. Perfect. Now that we know how to use the damn thing, um, we have access to a lot of binaries in user bin. So let's see if there's anything in user bin that is going to help us escalate. Like, can I? Start services. I can do sudo. Um, SSH. Is there service? But I don't even need to do. What is that? It's in here. Ooh, I could run a command like oh, I can do a lot of stuff. I need to pick the best course of action here. The quickest thing off the top of my head I can do to achieve what I want. So we've got Python, we've got so we can run a Python script as an admin user, get a shell, and kind of do whatever we want from there. Um, I'd love to just start SSH. So maybe we can run a Python script that is going to start SSH for us. Because... 
Then we change the password. Let's try let's just try changing the password. See <laughs> see if that works. Is password a command we have access to? I would hope so. Yep, sure is. Alright, let's let's try that. Let's start start from square one. See if we can't at least get that far. So if we do a C and temp C on result. Alright, cool. So if we say shall remove run this and we say echo user bin password admin I am the admin now. That sucker in there. Exit. To make an interpreter session. And I think that'll work. Hope that'll work. Right, I'll just wait a minute. At least get this far. It's always nice to make, make some progress. All right, I don't really know if that worked or not. Um, what I do know is that if I can execute su, I can try to change into that user. Um, Maybe. Ah, I don't know if that'll actually work or not because I'm technically still Apache. Huh. I don't know. Um. Um. I'm just gonna let that keep running and changing his password. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, CD. Alright, what's our next move then? Change the password. Let's see. Let's do a quick Google. I think probably the better thing I can do is actually probably try to start a new reverse shell in Python running as the admin and just connect to that and go from there so we're gonna try I'm gonna try to start SSH first though because if I can get straight into there and that password worked then we don't even need to worry about a reverse shell so start SSH I'm not sure what kind of command I need in order to do that though Normally you would just need the service command. I don't think I have access to that at the moment. See what I do have access to. Chat is not going to help with anything. Okay. 
Okay. Can always just ignore the rules and try starting it. Uh, so all it really wants for me to just specify path. And if I say Be like a Python one liner to start it. Alright, let's try. Um, let's try doing some things. Let's see, remove from this and instead echo. Changed the admin password multiple times, so hopefully that worked. Um, this next thing will hopefully start SSH, um, assuming that those rules of only user bin aren't strictly enforced. If they are strictly enforced, we'll have to do like a janky workaround. I feel like I could just do it in Python because I do have access to Python and make it run like an OS system call. Might be a pretty good idea. Yeah, alright, command did not start with home admin or user bin, so that's not going to work, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, that's okay. So, let's see. I don't know how to do a one-liner Python dealio to, to do the... OS call, so one-liner Python OS call. Oh! think I'll need to do anything fancy. It's powerful Python one-liners. So let's see. Okay. All right, let's try to do like a simple Python command. Um, for example, I'm gonna try to do it just from the user I am. Um, so let's say Python C. So like print. Your boy. Not sure if this will work the way I want it to or not. Okay, hell yeah. All right. So, assuming that. This will run as admin. So if I echo uh, Python dash C print your boy into um, I don't want to go about doing this. Python dash C print your boy into a run this and cat run this okay 
that should work. That looks great. Except it's not going to work because we didn't specify the path. Alright, so we need to echo pipe echo user bin python if this works access to python is really gonna help us on this box I feel like I feel like it's a key to success here at this point probably already split this video into another part um, it's just taking me a hot minute to, to escalate these privileges and this this is good I feel like I'm learning a good bit um, on how to do some nifty things and tricks by uh, running executing commands as somebody who has higher privileges than me and really using that to my advantage to escalate higher uh, hopefully this works how I think it will. So, cat cron result. But it did start with user bin. Huh. But I did. I did have syntax error. So, shame on me. Let's remove on this echo user bin python c print your boy. And that's all we needed before, right? When we did that, that worked. Alright, run this. And we'll hope this works. If it does work, the out should put the output should be your boy. And from here we could do all kinds of nasty stuff. I think I think I'm probably gonna try to go for the kill. I think I'm probably gonna try to uh, well, no, I'll try to start the SSH service first, and if that doesn't work, I'll go for the kill and go ahead and start a do like a bind shell or a reverse shell or something uh, and try to go ahead and get access and go from there because once I have admin I'm going to assume the password changing thing worked which means I can sudo and stuff and hopefully start the service that I need okay executed I don't exactly know if that means it worked or not but we're gonna pretend like it did um so let's try to do something fun here. We're going to I'm going to go ahead and open up a Zenmap scan. I do one or two dot one six eight dot one dot sixty four, I believe is the actual. Yes, it is. We'll do a quick scan. We're going to see what services are up. Alright, just like we thought. So this will be our compare and contrast here. Alright, so we're going to drop into a shell. Let's say over on this, and we're gonna echo that's a one liner. So we're gonna say user bin python dash c print or I'm sorry import os, and we're gonna say print or we're gonna say uh, os dot System, I think let's call Python. In fact, before I, I do all this, I'm going to do like a normal test. Let's see. 
yeah, so that's that system was right. But to kind of test this out, I'm going to say python dash dash c. I'm going to say import os os the system. Uh, say ls. Beautiful. That I could not ask for more. I really could not. All right. So in theory, if I echo, um, user bin Python, and I say dash c, and I import os, and I say os dot system, and I want to say service. SSHD start. And I write this to run this. So we'll run like a little test here to see if this actually, uh, if there is an error or something. So. I'll do like a Python. Oh, I'll just write it out. Import OS OS dot, dot system. Because this should give me like a permission denied. Or I will start the service and I'll feel like an idiot. D start. Already goofed. And hopefully to our surprise it's already running. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see if it executes or exit. Maybe we can like pipe this into other commands. Maybe we can do like a echo SSH name and start. Of course, technically that that should have worked right there. Let's do another map scan. Hmm. Yeah, we can do some funky command piping stuff, I'm sure. Let's do this. Let's, uh... Let's do something interesting. We can read from Easy Peasy's home directory. We can also read from here. So maybe um, if we. I want to see the user bin again. I want to see what I have. I'm pretty sure I have what I need to test this. Um, I think I really only need cat. Uh, Easy cat. That kind of stuff. Okay, what about our handy dandy uh, admin fancy bullshit that we got going on here? Let's scroll up a good bit. It'd probably be just easier for me to go back and check the notes at this point. Um, in fact, I'm going to copy this note from Jerry and put it in my notes just to make my life a little bit easier. My session has expired. I don't really care at the moment. Okay, Jim correct one. I don't care. Jim correct one. I don't care. All right. 
So he's giving us access to cat from his home directory. So see if I can cat uh let's just list this home directory. Let's do some basic we're we're trying to go straight for the kill. Let's do some basic stuff. Let's step it back. We've learned that stepping it back is often the way to go. So if I should have access to basic stuff like LS. You would think. Doesn't seem to be here. Well, what the hell? Hmm. Can I figure out if. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I know I should be able to uh, cat from home admin. We'll start in home admin, so I'll need to cat. Try cat in the shadow file. That'd be Etsy password, and we can say, and we can uh, pipe that into. Uh, or even redirect the output of that into um, something else. Cool.